was a boss we good job best lindy lee says booyi lee <laughs> we're back the lights are on as you can see rent was paid again we're back and it's october it's vlogtober um not making promises that i'm gonna keep up with vlogtober but you know what i was like this is the perfect month to you know get things moving it's the perfect month to go with it change with it move with it time is not on our side the things are happening quick fast in a hurry we gotta change move with it get to it if you would like to follow me on my social media, Twitter, Instagram, you all know the drill, do what you need to do. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Actually, subscribe to my channel because that will help me out a lot. Thank you. Today, as you can see from the title of the video, we have another thrift haul. Yay! All together, I have quite a few items this time. It's not like a short thrift haul. Actually, no, it is. It's not as many of a thrift haul as the other ones I've been posting. This time, altogether, these items were not more than 250. There yeah, I can say, they were not more than 250, but two of these items were actually items that friends of mine gave to me. So I don't know if they still count as thrifting. I, in my head, they still count as thrifting, Shane. They really do. So I'm gonna show you some of the items that I've been getting that I got two weeks ago. And also, two or three of these items, I got them a couple of months I, got, I actually got them after the previous thrift haul I posted, but I forgot to up, do an updated thrift haul. I really forgot shape. So two of these items, I actually had them for like two months, but it's fine, I haven't worn them that much. But you know what? A thrift haul is still a thrift haul and it's still fun. So let me show you guys some of the things that I got. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start with pants because I have a lot of pants. I have maybe like eight pairs of bottoms to show you. Ooh, it's a lot. Okay, let me start with pants. I think, let me start with my favorite pair that I actually got. These, so, um, oh, these formal, like, wide leg gray pants, they're high-waisted, they're actually what I, like, these are the type of pants I was actually going for. I actually want these type of pants in as many different colors as I could find. That was actually what, what I was trying to go do when I went thrifting two weeks ago. And when I found these, I'm like, I love them. They're actually women's pants, if I'm, I think they're women's pants. Okay, judging from the sizing and the way they fit, I'm pretty sure they're women's pants. But the nice thing is, be a gender neutral babe. In 2022, we are gender neutral. Like, we can wear men, women's, days and them's clothing. It does not matter. Clothing is clothing, babe, and it all looks good. And I actually like these pants. I like the way that they fit. They're nice and like wide leg. They're pretty fun. I actually like them. I don't, I think they were 20 Rand. Yeah, I think they were 20 Rand. Super fun. So now on to my favorite type of pants, the season, Jesus pants. Oh, I love Jesus pants. I don't know how to explain what Jesus pants are, but when, when you see them, you see them. Okay, so basically Jesus pants are these type of pants that are like around the, the waist, they rubbery, not around the waist, they're like this. But then yeah, these are Jesus pants. I have so many Jesus pants and I love Jesus pants. Actually, I wanted to find as many Jesus pants as I could. But anyway, with these, I love these. Only complaint is they're a bit too big around the waist. And they're already like elastic and they're big so i'm just like fuck but when i wear them low when i wear them as oh two problems when i wear them as high rise they're too short Ugh. and when i wear them as low rise they're actually perfect like they're the perfect length they actually fit better on my lower waist than they do on my higher waist so i'm mostly gonna wear these as low waist pants i like these i really like these they're my style they're my aesthetic they're what i'm going for for spring i also like the natural like crisp that they have it makes it easier to iron so i actually really like the pants they're really fun um the next pair of pants are actually a pair of pants i should have i got two months ago but i didn't show them on the thrift tour and i actually it was i only thrifted these pants that day i went thrifting <gasps> anyway probably one of my most favorite finds ever when it comes to denim are these denim slash corduroy jeans <gasps> like i saw kylie jenner wear a similar pair of jeans but like the jeans that she wore were dark in the front and light wash at the back. And I'm like, I actually like that type of aesthetic. So when I found half corduroy, half like denim jeans, I'm like, hallelujah. <sighs> I love these, oh, I love these. They're a bit big on the waist. Um, so I just wanna cinch the waist a bit. But beyond that, I love these. I love these, I've been wearing these. I think I even have a TikTok in these or Instagram reel in these. I really do love these. 
These were 50 Rand. Oh, I even spilled wine on them. Damn. These were 50 Rand. And usually when things start reaching 50 and above, like you have to think. Because whenever I go thrifting, I always bring like max 300 Rand. So when things are touching 50 up, you have to think about them. And Shem, I don't regret these. I don't. I, 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 I don't. I don't. I really don't. I really, really don't. Okay. The next item I got was a bit more adventurous. You know, we're being adventurous. Oof. So, is this like a long denim skirt? Oof. So, I've been seeing this a lot lately in fashion, Pinterest, and like, obviously men in skirts is nothing new, it's nothing different, who cares? But, I've been seeing this aesthetic of like long skirts, and they've been looking good on the boys. They have been looking good on the boys. Like, I saw Denzel Dion do it, Tariq Ali do it, especially with the jean skirt. So I really wanna recreate really these looks, these aesthetics. So I'm excited, but the only problem is, it's not as big as I thought it would be around the hips. It's more wide on the legs. It's not as big on the hips as I thought it would be. But I'm still excited to have fun with this and see what I would come up with this. Um, yeah, I already have a mood board on how I want to style them. But I'm really excited to see what I'm going to do with them. Because I really want to wear them this spring, summer. I really want to do it. I am going to do it. Like, I am. So the last pair of jeans are actually my favorite pair of jeans ever. And the fact that these were given to me, <laughs> the person who gave, gave these to me must have been on the likes because I would have never, I would have never. Are these, what are these? Rock Revival jeans. Oh, honey, Rock Revival jeans. I love everything about these jeans. From the detailing, I love the stitching. I love like the buttons. I just love everything about these jeans. Like the back, I really am obsessed with this. Obsessed with this. And they're also going in line with my aesthetic of, you know, nostalgic type of things, styles between the 90s to the early 2000s. I really love that. I'm obsessed with that. And also like the color of the jeans. I like the fit of the jeans. I like the material of the jeans. Like, these are actually my favorite jeans. So, um, a guy friend of mine actually gave these to me and he actually borrowed me. I didn't have pants that night. I didn't have pants that night and I needed pants. <laughs> and he borrowed me these. And then I'm like, I told him like, bro, you never getting these back. And then he said, nah, it's fine, you can keep them. Me, yeah, I don't care if he was drunk, on drugs, I don't care. He said I can keep them and I'm gonna keep them. They're never coming back. Yo, sana. And he even said they were expensive. And I can tell that they were expensive. Do you, look at the material. Do you feel the material? These were expensive. And I'm like, you're gonna give them to me for free? Girl, you crazy as hell. <laughs> I don't know about you, but you crazy as hell. Shem, I love my jeans. All right, so that was all the pants. Now let's move on to like tops and stuff. All righty, so first up on my list of tops are, okay, most of the tops that I got are actually shirts. I'm really into like button up shirts lately. I've always been into them. There was a period of time where I hated them, but now I'm into them again. So yeah, um, the first button up shirt we have is this silk um, mint green. I don't know if this is a mint green. I'm a bit, it's giving, a, cro a cross between green and gray. It's a silk shirt. I will never say no to a silk shirt, especially an oversized silk shirt. Love her. I think I posted a picture of her on my Instagram. Loved her. Um, it's a cute shirt. It's a bit big. It is an extra large. Um, how much did I get this for? This was probably also 20 rand. It was either 20 or 10 rand. Yeah, I don't remember, Shane. But it wasn't that expensive. Really love this. The material is great. I had fun wearing it. It feels great on the body. Air can come in. Oh, it's very important in this heat. Air can come in. It's not hot. Okay, the next thing I got was also, I also thrifted it with that one, is this Nuwak. Is this Nuwak um, button up t shirt. This was also like a long sleeve, but then the sleeves were too short on me. So when I got this, actually it was a long sleeve. When I first saw it, I knew I was going to cut it somewhere. So at first it was a long sleeve, and I thought that I was going to crop it. But then when I put it on and I realized the sleeves were too short for me, I was like, you know what? Let me just turn it into a vest and I am happy with the decision. I think I like this more as a vest than if it was cropped. Um, it's pretty cute. I like, it's just cute. It's just cute New York. It's not that much, not that a lot. And I actually like that I decided to crop and make it a vest. Me and Scissors, best friends. I love chop, chop, chopping stuff to do that. And then the last thing on my item is actually something that I found. That was actually mine when I was 10 years old. Um, I was just looking through some old stuff 
and I actually found this and I'm like actually this is kind of giving this is kind of giving it's this guest button up top um guest button up t-shirt um I actually like the detailing at the back I think when I dug this up I'm like first of all first of all I can do something with this I don't know what I can do with this but I can do something with this I'm like this used to be mine when I was younger clearly I had a good eye, like clearly I had a good eye. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I feel like something can be done. I have an idea of like a vintage cowboy type of look. I don't know, something can be done. Something can be done, I don't know what can be done, but something will be done and I'm excited for this one. Cause I really like the stitching. I like that it's white and it has like brown stitching, but like the back, I like the back. So what I was thinking is, I, I was thinking of maybe cropping it, but like, I was actually thinking of cropping it. I think I might crop it. I might crop it actually. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I know I wanna do with it and I know I know I wanna do something with it and I know I wanna wear it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we've reached the end of the haul. Ooh, that was fun. Uh, that was fun. Fashion is fun. Clothing is fun. Like have fun with your clothing. It's spring. It's summer. Like let's have fun with clothes. We don't have to be layered in jackets anymore. We don't have to struggle to find a jacket that matches our outfits anymore. Let's have fun, y'all. Let's have fun. Fun. Anyway, we've reached the end of the video. Please comment down your, your favorite item. And also, if you would like to know where I thrift or where to thrift in Joe Hat, I was about to say in Juan's bag. <laughs> yeah, it's like, if you want to know where to thrift in Juan's bag, I still have a video up on all the thrift places that I know of in Johannesburg. I might need to do an updated one because I think some of those are closed. And I think there's also a new one. I need to do an update, so I need to do an updated one. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, in the comments, if you know any other places that other kids like to thrift, list it down below. Everything that I actually got, I got it from Jobic CBD. That's where I mostly thrift every time I have the time to thrift. I got it in Jobic CBD. And that is it for the video. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Hopefully it's soon, and hopefully I'm consistent. Anyway, have a good day. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.